you can see it, but it's blurry. Well, that is actually what it looks like because I, that is just kind of our precursor slide. Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, welcome to our, the new communication module. Uh, my name is Rob Davidson. I'm the manager of digital products here at Concordia Technology Solutions, the technology division of Concordia Publishing House. We are just so excited to show you this new suite of features within Church 360 members. Um, it, it has been absolutely amazing seeing this blossom and take form. And we are just seeing churches when we're showing them and field testing and betas, et cetera. Like people are going crazy for this like just suite of new capabilities. Uh, we really feel like it's gonna be wonderful for your church. So I cannot wait to get in and show you everything. So what's in store for you today? So we are gonna be walking you through the brand new communication module. This is built for church administrators, busy pastors and volunteers. That means that whether or not you are super comfortable with Church 360 members to you know, this is, you know, you've only used it one or two times. This is super intuitive and super easy to use. We believe in supporting your ministry through technology. And thank you so much again for being a part of the Church 360 family. Um, this is gonna be an absolute blast to show you what the software can now do. Before we start, a few things. Um, I would hope most of you know Concordia Technology Solutions. We have a suite of incredible products to help you and your ministry do anything from manage your people data in Church 360 members, build your own website in Church 360 Unite, or manage your church finances, Church 360 Ledger. We're also the team behind uh, Shepherd Staff, many of you may know, and we also have e-giving solutions. So CTS covers a lot of ground and we all work toward providing your church the products to do your ministry more and more efficiently, get more time so you can be out ministering and spreading the good word of Jesus Christ. Uh, if Again, if you do not know me, my name is Rob Davidson. I'm coming up on my first year as the manager of digital products at CTS. In our chat will be Rod Kyles. I'm sure many of you know him. He's gonna to be today's uh, moderator and he's the manager of the CTS support team. It is an absolute privilege to work with someone so knowledgeable about, and so caring about our customers and our products. Um, no one knows this stuff better than Rod, but I am very excited to give you the tour of the new communication module today. So let's get started. Again, this is the communication module, right? So this will be an extension of church 360 members. And I would say about 60%, 70% of everything here is available to you for free, included in your subscription of church 360 members. So the vast majority of this is just new features and better ways to do what you currently do in the software. So before I get into showing you kind of the core kind of the demonstration, right? Let's go over kind of the core problem here that the communication module is treating. So as you see here, the churches have a variety of communication needs and one size fits all solutions. You know, just like one, like MailChimp just for email blasts or you know, a, a text message platform, et cetera, like one size fits all solutions do not fully complete and, and just fulfill the job that churches need when it comes to communication. As I'm sure we're all aware, communication is at the core of spreading a ministry. So you need the right tools to be able to use them in certain situations versus having to rely on the same tool to do every task. I'm sure we all don't use a screwdriver to hammer in nails, right? And in the same way, you need the right tool for the right job. So what is the communication module? What does it allow you to do? It allows you to communicate. When urgent news arrives, you can let the right people know. A big part of the software is very, like, very present and powerful to getting people's attention very quickly. Um, it allows your ministries the, the needed power of communication. It helps you keep your congregants 
active and present in your church. And even further than that, it helps you introduce your church to new visitors and invite them to events or different community opportunities that I'm sure your church is offering, whether that's worship, a small group, or just a fellowship uh, breakfast or something along those lines. You can use this feature suite to really amplify how you connect with people and make sure people are aware of everything your church is doing to serve the people it's dedicated to. So what makes up this new module? Voiced, text, and email. I'm sure most of you may know if you are users of Church 360 members that we already could text and email using the software. Now we've completely revamped that process and then went ahead and added an entire programmable voice suite into it as well, allowing you to do so much more uh, and being able to, you know, just really get a hold of people's attention. Like I've been saying, uh, it is just really, really neat what our team has done here for all of you. Um, like I said, emailing and text is in here. There's no loss of uh, functionality. So texts have been revamped fully. Uh, email, and I'll visit this when we do the demonstration again, it's been revamped, but you can also email in the same way right now using your client as you have in the past. But now we have an even better way to do that. Can't wait to show you. Let's see, is I missing anything else? Uh, core cut. Nope, looks like that's good. Um, all right, so how can churches use the communication module? So I'm sure all of you who have either used our texts, our email capabilities, you already know, you know, ways in which you can use it. If you don't, um, and also like we sunset over the past uh, few months, our member caller product and added that functionality into Church 360 members. So there's a couple more ways that we'll be showing today of how you can use this to communicate with your congregants. So really quickly, you, know, you can use this new module to warn people of inclement weather, which I'm, I'm sure we would all appreciate. Hopefully we're getting out of these cold months soon. Uh, prayer requests, if you have public, uh, uh, appropriate for the public prayers of the church, you know, a text chain, that can say, hey, please pray for Susan. She's going into surgery, et cetera. Like examples like that, that's a great way to use this. Worship announcements. I know we're all coming up on Holy Week when this is being recorded right now and for live for all of you, but also Christmas or a Transfiguration Sunday, other large events. Uh, let them know if you're gonna have a special service or any changes in, um, you know, how you worship or something people to know. If you're gonna have a special, you know, sunrise Easter service or a uh, a candle lit Good Friday service, you know, being making people aware of that and the, the new times, that's really important as I'm sure you all know. Uh, I mentioned, you know, alerting people of small groups, getting people engaged and active in the church is so important. And, you know, again, we're just giving you another way to do that. Um, and of course, growing your church, new visitor support, welcoming people into your church, uh, just to add on that level of hospitality that your church already does, making people feel welcome. So how does your church benefit? You're able to personalize your communication. We're gonna get into this whole way where you can use these, this new technology to further like leverage what you're doing in Church 360 members to communicate with people in a very personalized way making it very efficient for your church office to communicate with your church body. It allows you to work smarter, not harder, because often, more often than not, depending on how you build your settings, your list will even update automatically as you refine your people data. That gives you more time back to support your ministry. So what will the demonstration cover? We, we got four big categories that I really want you to be able to walk away from this opportunity, right? Just fully understanding, you're gonna be able to go to your software. If you have not checked already, if you go to your Church 360 members account, you will see the communication module is live. You should see it on your account. If you don't, please contact our support team. We'll get you set back up with that. Um, it's already available. So I want you to be able to leave today's webinar fully capable of using it to its 
fullest ability. So we're gonna show you where to find it, right? Can't use something if you can't find it. We're gonna show you where it is. We're gonna show you how to send a message. We're gonna show you then, right, how to make that message personalized with recipient lists. Um, it's gonna be built off of the core tagging and smart groups functionality of Church 360 members. So if you're already familiar, this will be a reminder, a revisit for you. But if you're new, this is how you can organize your people data to, to turn it into like a, just an extension of your church office, you know, make it so much more faster and efficient to communicate to people. And then we're gonna show you our brand new reporting suite we have a fantastic way to show you the performance of your communications to make so you know, your church office knows when you send out a message to its congregants that it's hitting the right people. And if there are any issues, you're able to diagnose them and fix them. So that all being said, let's jump into it. And I'm gonna switch my screen here. Here we go. All right, where's my... Okay, please let me know if you cannot see my screen. I sh you should be seeing the people tab of Church 360 members. And uh, if you have any questions, like I said, Rod is our moderator, moderator today. So he's able to answer anything that I can't see because I'm focused on showing you this new suite of features. But feel free, he'll signal me if there's anything that I need to pause and address immediately. So that being said, let's dive in. So you should all be, if you've used Church 360 members before, you should all be familiar with the people view. So if you see up here on your tab, right, you should see this communication button here. Okay, so we're gonna click that. Someone's got their hand raised. Um, I do not see who that is. Hopefully Rod can address that. Um, okay, so clicking here, this is the communication module. All right, so you see here, this is like our message center. This shows you all of your drafts and sent messages that your church has been worked on, working on or has worked on in the past. So let's go ahead and create a new message. Again, this is a brand new way to do this. So you see here that we have three channels for you to send a communication to, and they all work very, very similarly. So before we get into the details, I'm gonna give you a quick show of each one. So this is email. So this is the new way to send an email with the communication module. Again, you will you can still send emails with your client, and I'll show you that that's how that's still available to you. But if you choose to send it through the communication module, this is the, kind of the new way to do it. Um, you can choose what kind of message, right, you're sending out. You can title it, send from the church. So right now we only have the ability for the church and myself based on what we've set up. But if you have kind of a full suite of permissions set up in your church 360 uh, logins and roles, you should be able to select multiple people. So if you want your head of family ministry to send out an email, you can do that and personalize it right from here. And then we have different ways for you to select who are you sending this message to? You know, we'll see a lot today. We're sending it to everyone, right? If there's an issue with inclement weather or something along those lines, that's gonna be important for everyone in your email list or a phone number list to call, to contact. So into that whether or not they're a visitor or a congregant, they don't show up to an empty church one Sunday morning when everyone's called off because of risk of ice and snow, right? But let's say in a less drastic circumstance, um, you know, you're sending something out and you're doing, uh, the Alter Guild is doing a small little thing to a little get together to surprise one of their longtime members. It's their birthday or they're celebrating their anniversary of supporting the Alter Guild. And so you wanna exclude them. So you can either exclude a group or you can exclude an individual. So let's say Sue's been, part of the uh, the altar guild for years so i'll show you what that would look like 
right? So I don't have a lot of people in this audience, so this isn't a great example, but this shows you that you can exclude someone in order to only send it to the right people. So let's jump out of here. We're gonna cancel, then we're gonna add a new message, we're gonna go to text. Again, as you see, it's very, very similar to sending an email. Instead of being added in at, uh, an attachment, it's much more of a concise and direct way to send a message. You, we obviously, because it's text messaging, we have a character count here. You can see down here. So please, if you don't want to cut off your message or have to send it in multiple segments, keep it under 160 characters. Uh, we like to think of each of these channels as a different level of urgency. So email, you know, people will get around to it. It's the, probably the least urgent way um, than sending a carrier pigeon to get someone's attention right when you're alerting your audience your congregation say hey this is noteworthy but it's not something that you have to stop your day right text is the next level up from that where hey we need to get people's attention but we don't need to interrupt what they're doing we just need to make sure that they have their eyes on it faster than they would an email and then finally we have the voice section Right, and so this is where you're gonna have a vo uh, like a recorded message of your voice alerting someone to something that's very urgent and they'll get a call that'll then be sent to voicemail if they don't pick up uh, that alerts them to whatever you need in a very quick fashion. So again, this is really, really cool stuff. I hope you all are enjoying this. Again, please let us know if you have any questions and Rod will address them in the chat. We're so excited to show you everything the communication module can do. So let's dive in here and let's show you kind of like, what does this all mean? So let's uh, let's play with sending a message here. We'll do email, we'll do, uh, let's be a little bit more thoughtful here. We'll do an announcement, we'll do inclement weather. Warning this Sunday, Sunday, snowstorm. Okay, it's gonna come from the church. We're gonna message everyone. Okay, and then I had something up here. Okay, hopefully you can't see that. And I'm going up here. So then I have just a quick, we're gonna throw a message in. Okay, so now we see this is this process. We're sending an email to all of our visitors. Hopefully this isn't interrupted. And now you can see there's 284 in this audience of everyone. Out of that, there are 103 emails in that list, which results into about 180 people without an email address selected. Okay, so I don't think they're including myself in that list. So if we go to review, right, this is another really cool tool. This encourages you to keep your data up to date and make sure you're collecting the right information for everyone in your database, right? Which makes your database more powerful, more efficient, more effective. So we can say here, it's like, oh, Jacob, Lacey, you know, they don't have an email. If they live by themselves, they won't receive this alert, right? But it, in a chance that these are children, right? It could be fine because their father or mother, Dave or Sue Abbott, they would be receiving this message. So that might not be something to be concerned about. Again, you can also, uh, select by priority. Again, further personalizing this message, whether or not you want to send it to their preferred personal home work or just the household email, which again, makes you super effective when sending out communication and making sure these messages are sent to the right people. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, another thing you can do is you can schedule this. So we're going to schedule this for, uh, let's pretend we know that uh, we have a warning for this ice storm. It's gonna be coming this weekend. So we're gonna send this out Friday at 5 p.m. We're gonna say yes, Sam, later. And look at this, we have this appearing right here. Okay, so you can see your pending messages are here. Let's go ahead and, and focus this in more. So like I've said before, a big part of this, I've shown you, you know, where to find the communication module, how to send a message now, Right. The next piece of this is, you know, how do we personalize this? How do we take communications and make sure only the right people 
are receiving it. We don't want to send an email to everybody all the time, right? Sometimes that's just a group of five people. So let's go ahead and make that group of five people right now. So we're gonna go to our people view, and I'm gonna select five random people, and I'm gonna add them to a new tag. So we're gonna tag Sue, James, Pam, Donald here, uh, the famous Rob Calloway, great. And what else, we got a lot of guys here. There we go, Molly, perfect. Okay, so we have this list, everyone's checked here. So quick side note, if you wanted to send an email in the old way of sending emails through Church 360 members, you would click this, send email via client. That would then pull up your client, whether or not that's Gmail or Outlook, and you could send the email this way. Back to what I was trying to do. So we're gonna go ahead and add them to a new group. So we're gonna add a tag, right? And we're gonna call this available for volunteering. Cool add the tag so i'm gonna add this and that should then be added to everyone i want to make sure it got there it looked like it did yep there it is down at the bottom here so we're going to close this so i just added these nine people i added the available for volunteering tag okay this could be helpful for you in your ministry where you know trying to send a message hey just to everyone hey, we're looking for volunteers, that might not get a lot of people's attention. People don't feel that like that pull to really engage. But let's say you've talked to these nine people one-on-one, -on -one, you pulled them aside in church, and you know that they are 100% looking for volunteering opportunities, right? So we're gonna go ahead and select these people. So we're gonna jump into the communication module and we're gonna look at this message. So I'm gonna hit this action here, right? This to edit it. And so right here, remove this. And so I'm going to go and add, and I might need to refresh here. This is a brand new tag. Let my system catch up with me because I'm moving too fast. So available for volunteering, right? And we see the nine people I selected right here. Let's say we don't, Sue's the one uh, we wanted to tag her because Sue's a very active volunteer, but she's the one potentially asking for this email to be sent so we don't need to send this to her right you see we just pulled this away we can review this list and it's only the people we just selected that's in this group that it's going to show here so you don't have to sort through a list of everyone and i can make sure that oh trisha she needs an email let me go ahead and go back to her uh profile view and add that information in so then right here if i'm asking for an invitation or a reminder right i can then put together this message and go forward so i have shown you we'll hit update draft and again you can see this right here um how to send an email how to send a text message right how to build a you know a brand new list let's take one more look at the new voice section of the communication module so we're going to go here and click here right so I showed you this before. So we're gonna go ahead and this is, we're gonna kind of call this very similar to what we were doing before, uh, inclement weather alert, uh, March, 2023. Again, you can title these however is effective for your church in order to stay organized. We're gonna send this to everyone, right? Okay, so out of this everyone, we got 73 people without a phone number selected. We're gonna assume that's fine for now. But again, you might want to get that number closer to zero depending on your needs for your data. And now how do you record your voice message? So you click this big target red button right here and you will see that we are recording it. Hopefully you can still hear me through this, but this should be no problem. Uh, and so I'm recording this message. I'm gonna hit stop. And then I'm gonna hit save, and you're seeing that it's encoding, it's saving it to the system, all right? And now, right, I'm gonna, I can either send myself a test message, or I can go ahead and schedule or send it, right? So what you'll see here is a credit system. So if you use member caller, right, you'll notice potentially through this transition that we've revamped credits pretty significantly when we moved it into the Church360 ecosystem here. Okay, so 
now instead of 45 seconds, right? One credit equals one minute sent to one person, right? It's really important to keep track of. Um, so let's say, so the first minute starts when you start your message. And then when you pass that first minute, it'll go to two credits per person sent to. So let's see here, right? I'm sending this to this middle number here, 176 numbers. This is less than a minute, right? So it'll use that one credit per person sent, and it'll be sent to 176 people. We do this because we incur a cost for every voice message you send. So this is a way for us to be able to provide you this tool without like losing money on the feature, right? So this is a fantastic way to give people, you know, hey, please don't come to church. Uh, we are, or, you know, the eight o'clock service is canceled due to ice, but we think the roads are gonna be cleared up by now. So the 1045 will continue as planned. So uh, if this goes past the one minute mark, uh, it'll be two credits. So that'll be uh, 352 credits um, on some very quick math, if that was right or not. But I think you, you understand what I'm getting at here, that then you can send this out and this can reach everyone. Um, and you can do a max of a three minute total that would use three credit per person it's sent to message. So if you wanna send a little bit of a, a sermon snippet of, hey, this is something that was on the pastor's heart, that was a really critical piece of Sunday's sermon, you can send this out to everyone if you so choose. Again, there's a lot of fun ways to use this. We just put out a blog, kind of giving you a potential, a few examples that you can use this in your ministry. Um, and again, we would love to hear from you uh, and learn like what we could do better in the future, as well as how you are using the communication module to meet your needs. So finally, last thing here, okay, just checking my notes here. So we're gonna go ahead and schedule, schedule it, we're gonna schedule it the 17th. Okay, yes, send later. All right. So. We're gonna jump through this and hopefully you can still see my screen, right? And I have a sent message here. I don't wanna send with the other uh, system we had because I don't wanna send anything to a, a fake or, or someone's real number because we just used a, a random number generator, I think, for a lot of these that uh, it might actually catch somebody. So here we have a sent message and I'm gonna show you how you can now evaluate the performance of your calls so if you or emails or texts so if you have a sent message here right all the way to the right you see this action so if you click this little carrot it brings up this really cool view so it has the title and any other information that were a part of it like how was the group built right and then it shows you this whole suite of you know different pieces of information that can tell you and again this changes based off of uh, what kind of call or message you've sent. So you'll see different things if it was an email versus a text versus a call, right? Because machine answers isn't really relevant to an email, right? So you can see 26 people it was sent to, there's one still in process, uh, zero human answers, three machine answers, a few busy no answers, a few undelivered. Again, this gives you the full ability to understand, okay, what was the performance of my call, my piece of my message I sent out, and then what do I need to do in the future in order to increase that performance and make sure the right people are getting this message, right? So again, this is really, really cool. And again, this then, if you click show the event log, this shows you a deep dive on what that is, right? So you can see all these people here, who has received, what was the status of that call, and then the timestamp for each of those. Again, this is really, really powerful stuff. And uh, we really hope that this does everything we feel like it's gonna do for you, your church, and your ministry. So with that, let's go back to our presentation here and wrap up. Okay. So hopefully you can walk away from this presentation, this demonstration and say, I know how to find the communication module. I know how to send a text, an email, a voice message. I know how to build better lists to engage my church. 
and I know how to understand the reporting functions, okay? Again, we're gonna have so many blogs to help you go about this process. We're gonna have help articles to show you, you know, if you're having trouble getting started, we're gonna show you how to do it, as well as our sales team and our support team are on the line waiting for your call to help walk you through this. Okay, so how to get started. So this is a special promotional offer for everyone you know, that will see this. We're not publicizing this too much, um, that if you sign up and order voice credits uh, between now and the end of April, we'll add to whatever you order an additional 100 complimentary credits uh, just to help you get started. And again, thank you for being an early adopter of the new communication module. But please remember, that you know this the additional like pay per purchase piece or pay per use piece is only applicable to credits the upgraded texting the upgraded emailing and the recording and event log that is all completely free with your church 360 members subscription there is no additional cost this is just a feature upgrade for your current subscription it's only the voice piece where we incur additional costs that there's a small and they're super affordable credit packages. Like this is, it's not gonna break the bank. They should be very, very affordable for most churches. And that was why we priced them the way we did because we want it to be as accessible as possible, especially when we know churches are using this for emergency situations, right? So we've really priced this in a way where we feel like you know, it covers our costs while also giving you an incredible tool to help you in your ministry. So if you wanna go ahead and purchase credits, again, we'd recommend you doing this ahead of time because if it's you know Saturday at 7 p.m. and we're not here to pick up the phone and process your order, we won't be able to give you those credits. So make sure you have credits ahead of time so that you can then you know use it when you need to use it, right? Go ahead and call our software sales team and I have both their phone number and email here, as well as you can find this information on our website, okay? So this, again, they're very, very affordable prices. It's a fantastic tool, and we just can't wait to hear, I'm sure, all the good things that you will be sharing with us of how you are using it in your ministry. So finally, if you need any help finding your voice, <laughs> pun intended, our support team is more than happy to assist you. Right here, I have their email, their phone number, right? That you can contact them. So this is more of like, you are, you, you're not trying to buy credits. You're just trying to use the communication module itself, right? I have the help center link here. Again, you can find this in app through clicking or in the software by clicking the eye icon. We have a lot of, you know, our help center being able to like plenty of articles showing you how to do this in more detail than I've shown you today. Um, we have plenty of resources there. And then our support team is probably one of the best software support teams on the planet. I say partially in jest, but they all work here in St. Louis in, in the CPH building. And they have spent years skilling up to be the best at walking churches through this platform. And Rod has done a fantastic job leading this team. And it is just an honor to work with people that are so passionate and caring toward the greater church body. Um, so again, their contact information is here. And then again, if you wanna talk to sales, um, you can either email me or use those numbers that uh, we uh, I showed you on the screen before. So again, thank you so much for attending today. It has been an honor to show you this new suite of features for you and your ministry. Uh, we, again, key takeaways, we hope you, we know, we hope you know how to access the module now, how to send messages, how to build better lists, and how to view message reports. Uh, for any questions, feel free to contact me. This is my email right here. Um, I'm pretty responsive at email, and as long as I don't have, you know, a big, uh, you know, responsibility that I'm handling. I keep a very, very clean inbox, so I'll be able to get any, you know, if you have any questions that are specific for me, et cetera, I should be able to help you or at least redirect you to the right person that can fully take care of you and your needs. And again, if you are using the communication module in a unique way that you're seeing is really impactful, I'd love to hear from you so that we can then take that 
and you know share that with other churches to further grow all of our ministries right in supporting the world through the word of god jesus and just all the goodness that i know we are working in ministry to support so again thank you so much everyone whether or not you're a pastor or a church office administrator or a volunteer we know how much is required uh in order to serve the ministry as you do and we just could not be more thankful to support such an incredible group of individuals such as yourselves and everything we do is to support you um we you know we we appreciate your consideration and, of working with us and we continue uh to work to strive to support you in your ministry thank you so much and i hope you have a blessed rest of your week Thanks so much.